Hello and welcome to the Uke Stuff YouTube channel. My name is Chris Russell. I am currently an elementary music teacher. I've worked at the high school and middle school levels in choral music. I hold a PhD from the University of Minnesota and my primary instruments are voice and tuba. Although a couple of years ago I started with ukulele with my middle school choirs. And uh, since then I fall in love with the instrument and I blog about these things at ukestuff.info, and I have two YouTube channels. I have this one, which is youtube.com slash ukestuff, and the other one, which is just ukulele playlongs. What I wanted to talk about today is I've seen a lot of posts lately on Facebook and other social media things and, and forums where people ask how to get into putting your music on a tablet. And uh, so let me talk about a few things. First of all, if you want the best tablet experience with sheet re with sheet music, um, quite honestly, I'm not trying to be uh, device specific, but realistically, the Apple iPad, the 12.9 inch, is going to probably be the most best option for most people. You don't need to buy the latest one; you can buy a used one as long as it works. Um, all the software still works on it, but that's going to give you the largest page. Um, now, there are Android tablets out there, and if so, there are options for you. We'll talk about that. And uh, of course, there are some Windows tablets too, and I don't really have many good solutions for Windows tablets users in terms of uh, music reading on your iPad or your music reading on your tablet as a whole. So um, generally, I'm going to be talking a lot about iPad today. Where I can, I'll throw in some Android and uh, kind of just leave it at that. So the first question becomes, how do you get music onto your device? And really, there's a couple different options for you. First of all, you can always uh, print something or copy something. You can always save it as a PDF. If you don't know how to do that on your computer, check it out. There's lots of different ways to do it. Macs have PDF uh, creation right as a part of its system. But if you are a Windows user, I don't think that's still an option yet. I could be wrong. It's been a while since I've used Windows 10 and, and so forth. But um, there are some extensions you can buy like Cute PDF, or actually download for free, that will print a document like you're printing a piece of paper but to a PDF. So there are options for every platform, but if you end up with a PDF, which is a static format, you can upload that to your iPad a number of ways. You can email it to yourself, um, you can save it to the iCloud Drive, you could use Dropbox. There's a number of ways you can get a PDF out there. So whatever type of PDF you're talking about, whether it's a single sheet of just um, the, the letter names and the, the lyrics of a song, whether you're looking at a lead sheet, um, that sort of thing. Now, if you have existing paper sheet music, you can legally, if you've bought it, you can legally convert that for your own use and use it for yourself. So you could scan it, and there's lots of ways to scan things, um, but I'll just leave you a couple. You can use an actual scanner, and a lot of times people have been using their phones lately. Um, apps like, let me take a look here, reminding myself, um, of some, some scanning apps like Scanner Pro by Rito will do a really good job of scanning your music in black and white that you can then bring over um, to your other device, whatever tablet you're using. You can also send music to places like $1 Scam, $1 Scan, not Scam, $1 Scan.com, where they will scan documents for you, a hundred pages for a dollar. But again, these are all situations where you've bought the music, you legally own it, and you want to convert it to digital use just for your own use. That's kind of uh, what I'm talking about there. So once you send it to your tablet, there are a couple different options. So for the iPad, um, if you're just simply wanting to go to websites and copy and paste you know, the, the chord letter names and the verses, really for a lot of people, they like the, the app on song. So if you've bought on song, what you can do is you can um, go to a website, highlight the portion of the song that you want to put into on song, and then when you say share, you hold down uh, your finger on the highlighted area, a little share button will come up as an option, and you can share it right to on song. And like here's Rainbow Connection, I just shared it and it pops right into on song. So when you open it up, you say I've got one file to open up, and then you can read it. And then those chord letter names become transposable. So if you don't like it in the key that it's at, you can just go up, change the key to a different key. So a lot of people like on song, but for me, I like dealing with 
um, actual printed music and chords. I can create that myself. In fact, I'll do it on the iPad on an app called Notion where I'll actually make my own lead sheets that have the melody and then the chords above, even the ukulele chords. But if you have existing music in PDF format, I'm gonna give you two applications that you can use. And there are a lot, but these are really what I think are the best and most featured. The first is Fourscore, Fourscore, F-O-R-S-C-O-R-E. And that is a PDF music reader with all kinds of tools. Fantastic app, I cannot recommend it highly enough, um, particularly because you can write in it. So once you have an iPad Pro, this is the 12.9 iPad Pro a couple generations ago already, but if you have an iPad Pro, you can actually write on the screen and annotate in it and do all sorts of stuff. And then there's another app called Unreal Book, which is very similar. Um, the only thing I'd say is it's not as pretty, but it is made by a person that lives in Hawaii who actually plays in a band with Chris Kamaka if you're looking for a ukulele connection. So both those apps, you can send your PDF to those apps and it will display them for you and then you can read music. Uh, if you have a book like uh, you have bought the Daily 365 book and you get that scanned, you either scan it yourself or have like $1 scan or one dollar scan.com scan it for you you can upload that entire document and then interact with everything including if there are highlights in the score bringing you to different places it's pretty cool four score is very very deep um it, it's so you know the idea of being an inch wide and a mile deep it's inch wide as it's a pdf music reader that's what it does that's what unreal book does but the features that it has for a musician are so incredibly deep of what you can do. Now, there are other PDF music readers out there. Um, in fact, I'll just mention one more. There's one called Music, that if you have something called a Music XML file, which is a way for uh, notation products to share information with, with each other. So like uh, Finale is the program used by a lot of companies to make music. Sibelius is another. Dorico is yet another. Notion is yet another. Um, music XML is a container, sort of like a DOC file or PDF file, to be honest with you, that you can share between each of those programs. Music will actually not only read PDFs, but will also open those music XML files, which is pretty cool. And then once you have the music XML file, you can do all sorts of things. You can actually play accompaniments from it and other things. So um, those are very powerful ways to get into using your tablet, and in my case, you can see it's an Apple iPad. But um, on Android, if you happen to have an Android tablet, you might want to look at Mobile Sheets Pro. That's probably the best option uh, for reading music on an Android. And then there used to be one called Orpheus. I'm not sure if it's there anymore or not, but you might want to check that out. Now, one of the other benefits that you get from using music on a tablet or like Fourscore is that you can get something like this, which is a foot turning pedal. So if I turn this on and have it sync to my iPad and I'm in Fourscore, I can change pages with a press of foot pedal. I can even change, this one's a four button, so I can even change complete songs with the top buttons if I want to in the middle of a performance. Very, very handy, something I very much like. So not only do you have annotation as an option, but then you also have this. And then the other thing I wanna show you, which is true for any tablet, is this device. This is by a company called Air turn, and it actually is one other part that I'll show you in a second, but this is called the Go Stand, and it's a super, it's not light by any means of imagination, but it's a super compact uh, stand. You know, actually, it's basically a microphone stand, but then they also sell this thing, which is called the Manos Mount, which will hold up to a 12.9 inch iPad that you can flip from side to side. Um, the other thing that I bought, there's a couple more things on here, is I bought one of these quick locks so that I can change this head from thing to thing if I need to. And then the final thing that I bought, and that, by the way, that quick lock is just, if you look on um, Amazon for a quick lock for a microphone stand, it's not made by, by air turn like the other ones. And then the other thing that I bought is something else from Amazon right here. This is an Ortega, made by Ortega, the people that make some ukuleles and guitars. Um, this is their microphone stand, um, ukulele or guitar mount. And that's awesome because then when I'm at an event, my iPad is held, I've got a spot for my ukulele to hold, or if I bring two, I can put the other one in there, and that's very useful too. And that's, I think, really the, the best way to kind of quickly describe how to get into using a tablet for your music. Now, what are the benefits? 
Obviously, you don't have to worry about page pages getting lost or page turns. It gets really easy to organize your music. Um, once you have it, it's there. Um, potentially, um, if it's music that isn't copyrighted, you can share it with other people, with other tablets near you. Um, and I just find it's more efficient, and I can see it in any lighting, whatever. Now, there are going to be some people that love paper, and you know what? I'm never going to convince them to go elsewhere. They're going to use paper their whole lives, and that's great. I Certainly, they can do that. But for me, this has been just a wonderful thing to have as a teacher and then as a playing musician. Um, I've read tuba songs off of this. I've run uh, a ukulele. I've sung off of it. Um, it's just been a great device. I can't really say anything against it, other than you do have to take care of it because it is obviously an iPad. A good case is choice is a, is a good choice to have. It's a good uh, good case, and damage can happen. So if you buy one of these, if you go out and buy a new iPad, um, I really do suggest the Apple Care two year policy. This one has been replaced twice for just bizarre. Uh, problems. One, I broke it myself. The other one, I think my kids did, but never admitted to it. I woke up one morning and had a crack along the screen, and the iPad was kind of where I had left it, but nothing else had happened to it. So it was very strange. Um, and But thankfully, if you have an insurance, there's a cost that you pay to replace it, but the replacement cost of one of these is almost the full value. So um, realistically, if you can, smart idea for insurance. If you're an Android user, the um, the stand and so forth would still work. You have to double check uh, with your particular device whether a foot pedal and a changing pedal would work with it or not. That's kind of up to you. And if it's out there as a PDF, you can find it. And also, as another secret, if you're in OnSong uh, and you've created something, you can export an OnSong document into a PDF for something else to use as well. So you can actually import into Onsong and then export into something like Fourscore or Unreal Book as well. So I hope that makes sense. If you have questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments and I'll be happy to uh, answer questions that you might have. So hopefully that helps you know how to get into using a tablet for your iPad. And yeah, it, originally you'll just get one song at a time, a second song at a time, and then Pretty soon, all the songs you need will be there. And there's a pretty good chance that if you're playing in a group or involved with other musicians, somebody else has a tablet that's doing it, they can probably come alongside you and help you the rest of the way too. So thanks for watching the video, and we'll catch you next time.